As Queen said, I want it all and I want it now. Professional patience. It's tough, isn't it? I speak to young professionals every single day about their careers. And a lot of them are very frustrated about not moving ahead fast enough. They are eager for that next opportunity, that next promotion. And when they talk to me, ah, look, I'm reminded of myself at that age. But I think as leaders, sometimes we forget what it's like to feel that way about our careers. When I was 28 years old, I was senior associate at a law firm and I was desperate to become partner. I was also pregnant with my first baby. Now, Tommy was born, my first son, and a few weeks later, the firm was holding its annual leadership retreat over at Karang Cove on South Stratty Island. Now, my husband thought that maybe I would give this year's retreat a miss since I'd given birth a couple of weeks ago the baby was a month premature, I'd had a C-section that didn't go so well, but oh no, no, he was mistaken. No chance, I was not missing that retreat. I told him, get that baby and get all of that baby paraphernalia that you have with your firstborn, pack all that up, put it on the ferry, because we are going over to Karang Cove. And I remember that feeling of being impatient, of feeling as though my career just wasn't moving fast enough for me. And it's that balance, isn't it, as a young professional where you absolutely want that ambition and that drive, but you need to balance that with patience and presence, to have the presence of where you're at right now in your career. So what do you do if you're a leader and you've got someone like this in your team? someone that is impatient but, but driven and wants more? Well, I think there's a few things you can do. I think firstly, you have to understand their perspective. Ask them lots of questions about what they want to learn next, where they're going in their career and why, and listen to that perspective and understand it. I think secondly, you actually have to give them the opportunity You've got to stretch them, see what they're capable of, get them to realize their full potential, and they might just surprise you. Next, you've got to let them fail. <laughs> Try things and realize that maybe they didn't know what they didn't know, and that's really humbling. You want to let them fail, but also support them. Be there for them when things don't go well and be able to debrief with them about what happened and why and how they can improve. And then finally, you've got to know when to let them go. When there's no longer the space for them to grow in your organisation or your team, bid them farewell, wish them well. And you know, one day they might just come back with a whole new range of skills to add to your team. I am, I can, I'm Midja, let's talk leadership. Mwah. Bye.